page 542, chapter 35, cults around Emmanuel, or religions and sects around Emmanuel. It came to pass that Emmanuel and his mother Maria and his brother Thomas traveled on into the cities at the sea in the north, or Asia Minor, where, since olden times, warrior women inhabited the area, but their descendants were now peace-loving. He taught them the new teaching according to his knowledge, but had to flee their cities when they attempted to kill him. Their own teaching, far removed from the truth, was from a strict cult or religion sect, and they punished with death those who taught differently. Emmanuel was treated as an outcast by these people and fled, and was persecuted as an agitator against their cult or religion sect. But it came to pass during his flight that he met up with a large caravan. Thus he and his retainers joined it and continued inland and into the mountains. They came to the central part of the country and traveled through it for many weeks, whereupon they came to another sea and into the city of Ephesus. But Emmanuel was very much afraid and no longer taught his new teaching so that no one should have recognized him. For in Ephesus were many people, dealers and merchants, who came there from Jerusalem and conducted business. And many among them had known Emmanuel and had not been well disposed toward him. Therefore he avoided them and obscured his face. The dealers and merchants had spread in Ephesus the story of Emmanuel and the events of his supposed death, which had all occurred two and a half years earlier. However, after he had lived in the city for a few days, behold, he was recognized by one of the merchants, who informed his like-minded companions. They belonged to a secret group called the Association, Association of the Essenes. They brought Emmanuel to a meeting that was secret, for they were afraid of the people because their secret society was not authorized. But among them was one named Juthan, or Euthan, and he was the most senior of the secret society in Jerusalem. And he spoke, saying, quote, Behold, we know well what has taken place in your life, but we do not know how you are still tarrying among the living. So do tell us your secret. But Emmanuel feared that he would be bound and that he would, therefore, be returned to Jerusalem if he remained silent in front of the conspirators. So he recounted everything to the Essenes. And he told them about all that had, ha had transpired and how he had fled from Jerusalem and had arrived in their region. Euthan, the eldest, said, quote, Behold, we belong to a secret society called the, quote, Association of the Essenes. Our quest and our knowledge are not attuned to the teachings of the scribes, but to the secrets of the nature and all that is inexplicable to human, the human beings. You are great in your knowledge and far advanced therein. And in knowledge you surpass us and the scribes and the Pharisees and Sadducees, as well as the astrologers and even the wise ones in a manifold amassing, or to a great degree, in an ample measure. Therefore, come join our society, be one of us, and teach us your knowledge and your wisdom. But Emmanuel answered, saying, quote, Even if I were to teach you my knowledge, it would not agree with your teachings, because you follow incomplete human wisdom, whereas I adhere to the wisdom of the true knowledge of the spirit of the creation, or creational spiritual knowledge. Therefore, I think that our different teachings would be hostile to each other. It is also not my inclination that my knowledge and my teaching should be spread in secret, which, however, is what you do. Since, since your secret association 
of Essenes is unauthorized. But let me think over the pros and the cons for three days and whether I will then tell you, quote, yes or, quote, no, because everything must first be considered before I give you my last word on it. And Euthan spoke and said, quote, Be it as you say, peace be with you. Go and give us an answer in three days, if you want to speak your word then. But Emmanuel departed from there, fleeing the city with his retainers, and traveled east far into the land. And Emmanuel spoke and said to his retainers, quote, Behold, the association of the Essenes lives according to a confused cult, or religion, sect, through its followers, though its followers gather much from my teaching. Their old teachings, however, do not belong to the teaching of the truth, the knowledge, the love, the sageness, or intellect, the laws of the creation, and the wisdom. So the teachings are confused, and not of good or right value. But they recognize this, and are now weaving my truthful teaching into their teachings of half-truths, so that a new cult, or religion, sect, will arise from this, in order for them to drag me down or defame me by calling me one of them. They will say in a lie that I am connected to their society and that I should have received help from them since the beginning of my life. And they will even lie that my teaching stems from the knowledge of their cult or religion sect, and that they had saved me from the stake because I was one of them. They will also claim that all my companions are from their cult or religion sect, and they will also claim that I am the Son of God. But listen, for I tell you that I have never belonged to this association of Essenes, and that I have nothing in common with it or its followers. Thus I also never received help from them. The association of the Essenes will not be the only ones to make use of my name, because many cults or religions, sects, will come forth in my name, believing themselves to be great because of this, and thereby they will want to dazzle the people who will be guided by them into confusion and into a new God belief, from which a lot of pursuit or persecution and bloody deeds or murder and war and eradication of human beings or human slaughter, extermination of human beings, and destruction will arise. So will there also come people with false and confused cults or religions, sects, which will worship and praise or glorify me in their God belief, so that the God belief will be more credible to the people, whereby, however, they will be further enslaved and plundered or exploited. And many cults or religions, sects, will be established in my name, but their purpose will only be to enslave the human being in his or her spirit or consciousness, and in his or her freedom, and in his or her actions, thereby bringing the cults or religions, sects, great might over the people and in the land and over the money. Therefore, the people will be seized or exploited by the cults and will be beaten into spiritual or consciousness-based bondage. But truly, I tell you that no god cult or religion sect, and therefore no cult around me will be righteous because a god thought up by human beings is not equivalent to the creation, and so neither am I. Every god cult, and therefore every cult around me, exists in falseness, because due to these, ones do not recognize the creation alone as the highest, and do not live according to its laws and recommendations. And no god cult or religion sect, and no cult around me will exist that teaches the truthful, quote, teaching of the prophets, or the knowledge or the truth with the teaching of the truth, teaching of spirit, teaching of life. Only when the true, quote, teaching of the prophets is taught is there the teaching of truthfulness or truth, which, however, will never be bound in a cult or a religion sect. But it will first be in two times a thousand years that the time comes when the, quote, teaching of the prophets will be newly taught, unfalsified, when the chaos of the false teachings about me and the confused god cults or religion sects and the flourishing falsehoods of lies and deception or fraud and the of the invocation of the dead and the invocation of spirits 
and of the soothsayers, and clairvoyants, and all charlatans will be at the highest, and when the real truth will be outrageously vilified or defamed by their doings. Until then, there will be a great magnitude of false god cults, or religions, sects, and cults around me, and of false speakers, or liars, and manipulators, or cheaters, of the charlatans and the invokers of the dead and invokers of spirits, of false soothsayers and clairvoyants, and false mediums pretending to speak for the incomprehensible, or the supernatural, and to spirits, or other dimensional beings, demons, etc., and to travelers from the far reaches of the depths of the firmament, or outer space. And all of them will be such a great horde unto the ends of the world, or worldwide, that they can no longer be counted. And the god cults, or religions, sects, and the cults around me will be built on human blood and on hatred and greed and might, on lies and deceptions, on disguise or cheating, confusion, and on self-deception, and on confusion of the spirit or confusion of consciousness, and on hazy pictures or delusional constructions. But just as they will be built up in such a wise, so shall they also be destroyed again in a very distant time to come or future, because the final victory will be the truth. For truly, there is no untruth that will not be denounced as a lie. So is there also nothing hidden that will not become revealed. It is necessary that human beings recognize what is happening before their faces, and that they recognize what is hidden from them, so that the real truth of all things will reveal itself to them when they search for it and find the truth and the explanation of the wisdom. But the real truth lies deep within the laws and recommendations of the creation. May the human being seek and find it there. Those who seek shall not stop seeking until they find. And when they find, they will be profoundly shocked and astonished. But then they will rule over themselves and understand the true sense of the life. And so they will stand above themselves and be on the way to the realm of the wisdom. Let it be that the human beings recognize from this that the true realm of the spirit or consciousness is within them. And by this means, even outside of them, they form everything according to the sense of his or her spirit or according to their own will and consciousness and put everything into action and accomplish everything according to the laws and recommendations of the creation.